and I'd like to welcome to the show today, uh, Cantonitha Horn. Hi, Cantonitha. Hi. 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 Thanks. Careful. Thanks for uh, returning to the uh, show. Oh, glad glad to be here. I hear that you might not be around for long, or has that changed? No. Well, right now, what's going on is there. We're hoping for we're hoping for an appeal on the decision, but it looks like there's see the CRTC has made the decision that the 12th of February is when we're supposed to ha- lose our license. So they've given us well, a date. So on the 13th of February, nobody knows. Yeah, what's going to happen? There was a big meeting on Monday talking about the CRTC decision that affects CKLN. That's where the confusion lies because what's going to happen on February 13th, nobody knows with 88.1. Check out MohawkNationNews.com. And Canteen the Horn, uh, I really hope that this isn't the last time that you're on Word of Mouth Wednesday. I hope we, you know, this show can continue. But with what's gone on with the CRTC, I really don't know. But I just wanted to thank you again because, you know, your, your reports on MohawkNationNews.com have been some of the, the, the you know, the, our most are you know our most used and best resources and you know you actually you actually introduced me or your words introduced me to like names like kevin annett and russell means and splitting the sky all people we've had on the show toki tote we actually had on a few weeks ago uh and you know i i just wanted to mention even the first the very first interview i ever did on word of mouth wednesday was based on a mohawk nation news article and that was when I interviewed Bob Lovelace about the Charbot Lake situation. And when I followed that, that, that was in 2007. And then when I follow, kept following it on Mohawk Nation News, I basically, from that whole experience, I'm, I'm skeptical of everything now. And that's why... I hope you are. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why I'd like to, to thank you, you know, for, for waking us up, Cantonita. Well, you know, you have to um, stay on, and I think because it's important... Because uh, the knowledge that you put out is 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 going to rule ignorance. <laughs> knowledge, knowledge is what makes everybody equal. If you have the knowledge, I have the knowledge, and the people who are listening have the knowledge, then that's what I call democracy. That comes right from the Gaiani Goa, the Great Law. So the way that the states and the corporations are keeping their power is through keeping the knowledge to themselves and keeping it from the people. And when they're giving you that kind of trouble, then that means that they don't want a f- the free flow of knowledge. Because <laughs> the free flow of knowledge is the free flow of power. It's, that's the equalizer. <laughs> right. And that's why it's important for you to stay on the air. Uh, hello, C. Kellen. Uh, do, do, are, is there a caller here? Yes, sir. Daniel, this is Norman. I wanted to... Hey, Norman. Just thank you for the support that you have given uh, uh, Saturday Morning Live and Dire Spork Music and CKLN over the years. Oh, thank, thank you, Norman. This is not uh, the end. I'm not saying that this is, we're finished. I think we should. Uh, the spirit is to uh, to fight, oh, to, to, to continue to fight. So I'm not saying that we're, we're through. I'm just thanking you mm-hmm. in advance. Okay, great. Yeah, and I think, uh, is it um, Victor Baines Marshall special this Saturday? Uh, Black Addicts and Recovery, yes. Yeah, yes, Black yes. Addicts and Recovery this Saturday. So. Right. But then ho- hopefully you're, you'll are you be on next Saturday. The 12th? The 12th. Uh, hopefully, yeah. Okay, great. As they say, if the good Lord willing and the creek don't rise or inshallah, I'll be, I'll be there, yeah. And, of course, um, you've been in radio with CKLN for how many years? I came here in 1983, and uh, you know it's it's from there that you know I sort of developed, uh, uh, you know, further developed my international Pan Africanist ideas. The Etobicoke School Board built some kind of a summer camp center up there, and they never asked us if they could build it there on our land. So uh, I wrote to them and I said, you know, this is our land. You never asked us for it. Uh, so it's ours and give us the key to this it. This is what we talked about a few weeks ago when we had Cantonese the Horn of the Mohawk Nation News. Uh, and she was talking about the outdoor Etobicoke Outdoor Education Center. Uh, wh- yeah, what do you know about it? I know everything about it. I'm the one, I'm the one who put in the thing saying, okay, uh, as per the Royal Proclamation, this is the property I want. You know, and we, we gave them notice to vacate that property, Etobicoke Outdoor Education Center. They did. They, uh, they vacated it. But they didn't give us the keys. 
two years goes by, we still don't got the keys. They looked into it and they looked at it. It's a whole lot of structures and there's even areas where they, you could farm. And then I get a letter from their lawyer of the Toronto District School Board telling me that if I try to trespass on the property, that I will be charged with trespassing under the full extent of Admiralty law. From what I understand, we are going to eventually get the key to that, that whole um, project. And I sent back to that lawyer Royal Proclamation, a copy of it, Articife Canada copy, and the survey I had done at MNR, and I said, Royal Proclamation supersedes Admiralty law, you have no jurisdiction, tell your client I still want the keys, and when do they want to have the pipe ceremony? Because that's what we were working on. It was going to be a peace pipe ceremony. They were going to give me the keys and turn this over properly. Then I hear from another source up here, a very good, reliable source, inside source, that Jim Flaherty is trying to secure the property for himself. I said, wow, this is about three years ago. So I start my watching on that, right? And then uh, Jim Flaherty shows up here in Honeywood. Uh, another couple people, yep, Jim Flaherty was at the Honeywood store. Jim Flaherty. So he's already in there. That's the way I look at it. And uh, so the finance minister of Canada is ignoring a royal proclamation, the supreme law of the empire. That's like treason. That's bigger than Watergate or any of it. What these colonists are, are finding is that we are actually coming out, putting on paper, the way that they look at it, you know, that's what they, that's what they know. And we give them the historical uh, information and the jurisdictional information, the constitution, and so on. And then we make, start making claims. When they send it to their lawyers, they have no, that there's no question that we are right. And we're back on Radio is Dead on CKUT 90.3 FM. Express yourself. And now we are joined by Daniel Libby. Uh, Daniel Libby has been volunteering at CKLN since 2007 on the show Word of Mouth, which airs Wednesday at 7 to 8 p.m. Uh, Daniel sent us some radio clips, but we didn't have time to play them on today's broadcast. We hope to be able to play them next Monday, 2 to 3, February 7th. Hey, Daniel, are you there? Hey, yeah, I'm there. And, uh, yeah, you actually did play two of them. There were two interviews I did. You played... Uh Kenji the Horn and Tohoge Tote were, uh, you added them together. It was about the Etobicoke Education Center, Outdoor Education Center. Um, so that, yeah, I've just been tuning in. Uh, so I'm glad you played that just because, you know, that's an example of what we talk about on Word of Mouth Wednesday. And I'm on the Word of Mouth Wednesday, but Word of Mouth is actually a show that's on Monday to Friday uh, every night with different hosts. So, um, But, yeah, thanks thanks for doing the show. I will speak on and having me on. Um, I was wondering, what does it mean to, like, how does CKLN's news program work? Like, how does it involve the community? Well, we try to, to get all kinds of different uh, topics on, you know, every week and every episode, and everyone talk, talks about different stuff. But one of the main things we've been talking about has been the G20, the Toronto G20, because that was such a major thing that happened involving activism and protesting and you know the government secrets that are going on so we've been trying to interview as many people as we can that had experiences at the g20 um so you know that's an example and then just you know the overall coverage at the talent uh i like to define it from the logo my favorite logo of ckln has an 88.1 smashing through a a barcode, basically, a serial code, and then underneath it says, liberate your radio. And that's what I think is the message. You know, that's what CKLN, that's what I hope to see at CKLN, and that's what I'm, uh, you know, I'm hoping uh, that this isn't it, you know? That's, it was a bad, you know, it's a, it's a tough decision from the CRTC, from the regulators, but um, I hope there's still time. That's why I hope, that's why I think they've, you know, why we're still broadcasting till February 12th, and I hope uh, we can liberate the radio. <laughs> too many secrets going on, too many secret meetings, you know, like the G20 was a secret meeting, the CRTC decision, they've released the decision, but we don't know how, you know, they came to that decision. Um, and, you know, th this is why we need, we need to have 
uh, pub public public meetings, I think, and um, this, yeah, the, the CITC decision is is going to be tough if we don't have, you know, if CKLM loses the license because the, you know, we, we can always broadcast on the internet, but, you know, that's, uh, it w it's totally underground, and I think what we need to do now is live in public. That's, uh, you know, that's also a great movie, We Live in Public, the documentary uh, that I think is, you know, it's a metaphor. What's, hap what's, hap what's happening today? And what, what I've seen at a lot of CKLM meetings because uh, I've gone to a lot and I've tried to figure out what's been going on. And what I see a lot of is uh, campus security and Toronto police get called sometimes to the meeting. And it's, you know, it's, it seems too hostile and it seems too, you know, when I see that kind of stuff happening, it's almost like, it's almost like C. Kellen is the microcosm of all the major problems we've been talking about with protesting, with, with the government, with, you know, society. And, and and our and you know and cultures, different cultures coming together, and I think we need to have an open CKLN, and you know, it's we got you know there's a lot of locked doors, a lot of metal shutters, um, but you know it's time to liberate the radio. This this is not it. Hopefully, uh, you are tuned in to Radio Is Dead on CKUT. 90.3 FM. Today, the program's name, Radio's Dead, is sadly and aptly appropriate as we dedicate our broadcast to our sister station in Toronto, CKLN 88.1 FM. Next week, we might have our last show, so stay tuned because we got some firsts planned. So hopefully this is not it, but my name's Daniel Libby, and thanks again for listening. Check out Cantony at the Horn Mohawk Nation News, and stay tuned for the Blues Dr. Julie Hill. Hear your music ills on CKLN 88.1 FM. This is not it. Hopefully, word of mouth, word is bond, word out. Knowledge is power.